Hello guys, my name is Balakrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, we write Java code solution for question 2 of IEC 2023 Computer Science Practical Boards paper which is this question. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two are subscribed and a subscription is very important. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So this is the question. Take a minute and give it a reading. All right. Okay. And also I have taken this question. I have copied this question from a third party source. This is not from the original question paper. So there might be certain differences in the output format. But the core question remains the same. Okay. So in short, we have to read a matrix of dimension M into N. And then we have to display original matrix, mirror matrix and sum of corner elements. Okay. I am going to write a main string args. Okay. So I need a scanner object to read from the user. Okay. And I will also have to do import java.util.com scanner okay i'm doing scanner dot close this is not mandatory but i do this out of practice okay so first we have to read the value of m and n so i say read the value of m okay and whenever i'm solving ic computer science practical boards paper my idea is to replicate the input and the output format so in the input i can see m equal to has been printed then the user enters the value of m and presses enter Similarly for n and that is how I want this prompt to be printed. Okay. So I say system dot out dot print m equal to. Okay. Printing a prompt message asking the user to enter the value of m. Int m is scanner dot next print. Okay. Similarly reading the value of n. So I say int I prompt for n n int n. Okay. Validate the values of m and n okay so m and n must be both greater than 2 and less than 10 so if m is less than or equal to 2 or m is greater than or equal to 10 greater than 2 and less than 10 okay so if m is less than or equal to 2 or greater than or equal to 10 or n is less than or equal to 2 or n is greater than or equal to 10 okay in any of these cases this is invalid size so i return and before returning, I print a message system.out.println invalid size. Okay. So when we reach here, we know the values of m and n are valid. So I create a 2D array. So I say int a equal to new int m and n. All right. Read the values into the matrix. Okay. So for int i equal to 0, i is less than m i plus plus for int j equal to 0 is less than n j plus plus okay i read a value straight into the ijth location so a i j is scanner dot next int all right okay so the input part is done in the output we print the original matrix first and since we are going to print the matrix twice once as a mirror as well so I'm going to write a separate function static void print matrix. Okay. Takes the matrix int a. Okay. And you can choose to take dimensions as arguments or not. I'm going to take the dimensions int n. Okay. So even if you don't take these values, you can get m as a dot length and n as a zero dot length. Okay. So printing the matrix for int i equal to 0 i is less than oh we copy this entire same loop okay okay i need to print okay so i say system dot out dot print f okay using printf to print this out in a formatted manner so that each column has say width percent 6 d okay six spaces will be occupied by each integer okay so you get output as neat columns okay i say a i j okay and finally when i print each row i do system dot out dot print again all right and this is my print matrix function okay so we can test the 
print matrix the code so far so you can say clear compile uh, oh is a lower case s scanner here not needed clear java c java question 2 m is a 3 and 3 valid so i say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so we need to print original matrix now so i say system dot out dot print ln original matrix okay and then i say print matrix pass a m n okay and maybe change the line after this as well okay so clear compile run okay so i'll say three three so i'll say one two three four five six seven eight nine okay so it prints into neat columns all right okay so we have the original matrix we are done till here now we have to find the mirror matrix okay so if you observe this mirror matrix the mirror has been placed after the last column here okay so you get mirror matrix here okay so the order of the columns is reversed in the mirror matrix last column becomes the first column second last column becomes the second column third last becomes the third column and the first column becomes the last column okay so when we are creating mirror matrix we just have to add values in reverse order of columns okay so i say create mirror matrix okay it will be of the same dimension as original matrix so i say is mirror a okay i loop the same way okay so i say mirror matrix of i comma j is original matrix of i and n minus j minus 1 okay adding in the reverse order of columns okay and then i need to print this mirror matrix so i say mirror matrix print m a with the same dimension okay compile run okay i'm going to run it with the given sample case 3 comma 4 3 4 8 7 9 3 8 7 9 3 minus 2 0 4 5 minus 2 0 4 5 1 3 6 minus 4 1 3 6 minus 4 so this is your original matrix okay and 3 9 7 8 3 9 7 8 5 4 0 minus 2 5 4 0 minus 2 minus 4 6 3 1 so this is your mirror matrix okay all right the last part is to get the sum of corner elements so i say static int some corner elements okay of this matrix with this dimension okay all right so i'll say int sum equal to zero and i'll return sum okay so the corner elements are add top left corner element first okay so top left corner element is a of 0 comma 0 then add top right corner element okay so sum plus equal to a of top right corner element is first row last column okay then you add bottom left corner element is bottom left corner element is last row first column okay and then you add bottom left bottom right corner element which is last row and last column okay four column elements you add it to the sum and you return the sum so finally i print so i say print, print mirror matrix print sum of corner elements okay sum of corner elements equal to something like this so i say system dot out dot print ln okay okay is equal to plus some corner elements a m n a m n okay and you have to find the sum of the corner elements of the original input matrix which is a not m a and even if you pass m a it will give you the same result because the corner elements will remain the same in the mirror matrix as well the sum 
of corner elements will remain the same. Anyways, compile, run, uh, return sum, uh, return sum, compile, okay, run, okay, so 3 comma 4, 8793 8793 minus 2045 minus 2045 136 minus 4 136 minus 4 sum of corner elements is 8 which is correct which is minus 4 3 which is minus 1 plus 8 is 7 plus 1 8 and even if you find the sum of corner elements in the minimum matrix it will be the same okay 3 plus 8 11 plus 1 12 minus 4 8 all right okay let me run this again for another sample output okay i'll say 3 comma 3 i'll say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is the mirror okay and the sum of corner elements is 7 3 10 1 9 10 20 okay one last case i'll say uh, 4 comma 4 minus 1 45 6 90 3, 14, 2, 88, uh, 4, 7, 77, 34, 90, 87, 55, and 2. Okay, this is the original matrix, mirror matrix, and sum of corner elements. Okay, 180 plus 2, 182, minus 1, 182. Alright, oh, mirror matrix, apologies. Okay, it's mirror, okay fix this all right and finally compiling and testing it for invalid size say i say uh, 10 comma 2 invalid size okay so this was the solution to this problem and i hope this was helpful and i have solved other questions of ic2023 computer science practical boards paper as well the links to those videos i will add in the description of this video and whenever you are solving matrix questions like this that you have to read a matrix use next int from a scanner rather than using next line then splitting the line into integers that is a tedious task if you use scanner dot next int you can directly read into this array like this okay and i have also solved many other questions boards questions and practice questions previous years questions of isc computer science practical boards paper you can check it out on my channel and I will also add the link for the code of this solution in the description. You can check it out. And if there was something not clear to you in this video, please let me know that in comments. And you can always let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss. Thank you.